at Live at Five. I'm usually not here, so I am super excited to be here with you guys. Hopefully my mic and everything is okay. I wanted to come and do a super quick, easy, uh, fun little project. This one, you know, I usually get on here and I make stuff for everyone else. Um, and I might end up gifting this, but um, I wanted to make this one maybe for me um, or a media family member. So most of you guys uh, may or may not know that I lost both of my grandparents. Um, so I wanted to do something that was like super special. Um, so I am going to be using the Because Someone We Love stencil, but kind of mixing it up with the Distress flag at the same time. Um, so we're going to be using the part of the angel wings today. And then the second part is the, uh, under the distress flags, it says, um, in loving memory of those who are present forever in our hearts. Um, so it really means a lot to me to be able to get on here and do this project with you guys. But on an awesome note, I wanted to show you guys this frame that I made. So this one is super cool. And you guys know what this one is, right? It's actually our double-sided board. So this one was white, so I painted it because I have, um, Maybe some ideas that I'm going to do after after this guy, um, but it's a white. So I went ahead and this one here was the raw wood side. So I painted it, and you know we have these um, raw pieces. So what we did is I went ahead and put these half rubs. So I glued them with a glue gun, and they're just little bitty. Let me see if I can get them super close to you. They're like half rounded beads. So I went ahead and with just a regular glue gun here, um, spaced them all the way around and glued them down. Went ahead and painted them white um, with our white chalk paste. And then I went in with, um, I have a little distressing ink pad where you could get some antique wax or however you like to distress. And I went ahead and just distressed it with the beads. I'm gonna try to get it close to you guys so you guys can see. So you can turn any frame into something Pretty cool and spectacular, right? I absolutely love how it turned out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started today. How is everyone this Friday? I see a couple of you guys jumping on. Hi, thanks for being here. I'm not Kathleen today. She usually takes a spot, but she is on vacation and she is super excited. She is out celebrating. Um, so I wanted to jump on and do this awesome project with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the angel wings. We're going to go ahead and put these down. And I'm not going to put them so close together. I'm going to go ahead and space them apart a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I usually don't do this, but since it's for me, um, I'm going to cut these because I want them spaced. So some people cut the stencil, some people do not. Um, what it could lead to is the fraying of your stencil. So be choosy if you choose to do this. You could always lift and move over, but I just want the simpler version today. So we have two of our wings here um, and we're gonna space them apart. So I'm gonna put them more towards the front of the frame. And I think you guys could see that from there. And then I'm gonna do the beautiful saying here on the bottom half, but I don't want them to touch so much. So I'm going to try to put them all the way to the tippity top. And once I place my stencil down, you won't be able to see the, the words touching the wings. So we're going to kind of do it like this. And you guys are wondering like, why do you have a gap in the middle? Because we're going to put some beautiful sola flowers on them. So I have all sorts of beautiful little decorative sola flowers that we can use. They come in a huge little pack. So we're gonna be able to play around with those. And since we painted the surface here, um, the color I use is sandstone chalk paste. So it's kind of a off-white brown shade. I'm gonna use the wings to make them pop with white. After that dries, we're gonna go back um, with the glittering black to be able to do the setting on the bottom. 
I'm excited to be here with you guys. I hope that you guys are really going to enjoy this project. If you are so far and you love all of these ideas coming together, show me a little bit of love. Show me some hearts. I see you guys' comments coming in. Thank you so much. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take our angel wing here. Now, me rushing to get here on time today. I forgot my tacky towel. So what I'm going to do is I have a pair of jeans on. And I'm just going to put them on my jeans. So you guys can fuzz anywhere. So we don't recommend kind of like the neoprene because you want to pick up the fibers. Like I have a really fuzzy shirt on that you could use. Um, but I'm just going to fuzz them off my pants just a few, few times. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick it right up in the corner where we had it placed before. I'm going to go ahead and smooth it down to where I don't see that there's any bubbles. And my board is completely dry. I even um, did this yesterday. So then I went, um, I used some wax on here, our little wax. Um, so our board is ready and prepped to be able to be stenciled on. All right. Now, do you guys have any fun plans for this Friday? We are going to be relaxing at home on Monday. There's the circus. Can you guys believe that? So my kiddos are excited to go to the circus but this weekend. So far, I don't have any plans but just to relax with the family. That's plans in itself, right? Okay, so we fuzz this other side. Oh, I got something right here. Let me get that off. Um, and we're going to go ahead and stick this one in the top corner. Perfect, and now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth all of this down. No bubbles, we don't want any of the bleeding. Okay, so now I know that my saying isn't gonna fit all of the way because we have the green at the bottom. So what I'm gonna need to do is we're gonna go ahead and stencil the white chalk paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. This is just the Brilliant White. You could definitely maybe even do the almond latte too. I was just worried that the almond latte was a little of that off shade of white, so it might blend into the sandstone color. So I chose just the, the brilliant white. Now guess what I'm going to use? I'm going to use this new super cute pink squeegee. I'm super excited to use this guy. If you guys haven't seen them, they come in singles or they come in a 24 pack. I love the color coming up for the spring season, Valentine's. I just love the color pink. I don't know why. Do you guys like the color pink? If you don't like the color pink, what color do you guys like? I like all different colors, but this super cute pink squeegee, I absolutely love. All right, so we loaded our chalk paste down here. Now in one swift motion, I'm gonna come from the top to the bottom, and then I'm just gonna make sure the entire angel wings are covered. Now let's hope that we picked the perfect chalk paste color of the white to be able to see our wings coming through. How many of you guys have used this stencil before? Do you enjoy it? There's lots of significant meaning behind the Because Someone We Love stencil. It does come with a whole saying. Um, the saying, I just really like the distress flag one with this because it's me, it's coming from my, for myself, to myself, right? Um, but it says, um, you know, because someone um, is basically not here anymore, there's a little bit of them in our home, or you can mix it up to say at our wedding if you're looking for um, some wedding items to go with this. I just think that the angel wings are absolutely gorgeous and the sayings that come with them, you know, they mean a lot. All right, so we have our stencil with our wings completed. So I'm gonna put this guy to the side and you guys know me and the messy crafter, I'll end up spilling this. So let's go ahead and put our lid on since we're done with the white. Now let's go ahead and do our peel and reveal for today. All right, so I'm going to take it from the bottom and I'm going to pull it up and the white was a perfect color. Can you guys see that? I am super excited. 
That was turning out beautifully. Okay, so we do need to let those dry. Are you guys wanting to see them before we start adding flowers and whatnot? So here it is with our frame so far. I love the color pop. I love everything about it. How about you guys? Give me some love if you guys like it so far. All right, and then we have the ones who are forever in our hearts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this one on my pants to be able to fuzz. We're gonna give that a second to dry for the bottom of the wings. You can always take your heat gun to be able to do that as well. But the issue was um, the green was on the bottom part of the wings, but not this stencil. So I think that we will be just fine to be able to use it. If not, I can sneak and grab my heat gun. It's on the corner of the table right over here. Okay, so we have our stencil here. And again, if you guys want to read it in loving memory, of those who are forever present in our hearts. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick this one down and we are not touching our angel wings at all. Let me make sure we're touching the bottom. I'm eyeballing my space to be in the middle of the wings here. Let's bring that down a little. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna take our time. We're gonna make sure that there is no bubbles. How many of you guys are enjoying our project so far? Are you guys gonna try this beaded idea on the, the frames? I absolutely love the effect here. All right, you guys can hear me pushing it down. Hopefully I'm not so scratchy. You guys are on my coat. I absolutely love my coat. It's super cold here in Utah. Today, we have not got above maybe 15 to 20 in the last week. We are hoping for some warmer weather, so send that our way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the glittering black. I absolutely love this color. It's kind of a toss up between this and copper. Copper is winning so far. I love it. So I got a little bit of white mixed in, so I'm hoping that it'll kind of blend together for a smoky effect. So let's go ahead and get to stenciling our saying. I am loving this. Are you guys loving this project so far? I'm very excited. All right, just being super careful not to go crazy with my chalk face and try to get it on our sides here. The messy crafter will strike again. She always does somehow, some way. All right, let's see. We are almost done here, stenciling. Okay, we did not get that. Okay, let's remove our excess. I love working out of the lid jars. Am I the only one? I just like to hold it. You get just enough. I could scrape it on the sides. Of course, I will clean it after, but I always, always just kind of hold it. I don't, maybe it's a comforting thing. Okay, so I went ahead and we did that. I'm smiling because I'm loving the way that this project is coming out. Are you guys loving it as well? I love to be here with you guys on this live at five. Kathleen is totally missing out. I'll give it back to her next week, but I wanted to be on here with you guys today. Okay, let's go ahead and do our peel and reveal very slowly. Oh, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it looks so good. Okay, let's show you guys before we start picking out our flowers. All right, so we have this one here. Oh, let's see camera angles. So we have these going on. I think I did enough spacing here. It's kind of, my hands are a little wobby dad, but do you guys like it so far? What do you guys think? I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love how it's turning out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that a moment to dry. And we have a super big bag of these Sola flowers. So I think that I want maybe some browns, some blues. You guys help me out because I'm gonna pour all of these out so we can see some of them got smashed on transit. So we'll have to pick them and move them and see what we can do with them. All right, so what do you guys think? We have these 
deep blue flowers. It has a little bit of white in there when I have to get off. And then I have these, and I think these are probably my favorite. I love the brown and the, I guess you would call that, what is that, robin egg blue? I love those. I think that flows really well with our design, so maybe we'll put that to the side. Um, we have some brown and white ones here that we can blend in, so that's maybe a possibility, right? Uh, I think that we're going to grab a few, this one looks a little broke, um, of the little rose petals in like an off-white. I think that'll still look good on our white on white on our cream. Let me see. We have like the big like robin egg blue flowers. What do you guys think? Which one should we use? Let me know in the comments as we're like looking at these. Some of these are broken, so I'm going to try to get some pieces out. We have like a deep blue with a little bit of the brown. That might look okay. We had this one. I think I showed you guys this one. This one's just a blue flower. Let me see. I think that's like all of the color choices, and then we can kind of match and match in between. I do think that I love these two. I think I'm going to use these. What do you guys think about these? I think I like those, so I'm going to put these on. I'm going to still give the top a minute for it to dry. I do like the little rose petal. I think that would maybe bring out a little. Do we use this one with the brown? I think like I think I would like this one maybe a little bit better if we did use that one. Do you think that's too much brown or do you think that it would work with our little little petals here? Or is it too like circular and these are kind of like a 3D like abstract? What do you guys think? I still like the dark blue ones too. Let's see. The rest of them are about the same. So we can have like another flower, like three flowers. I guess like three white flowers and two of these and maybe like like one big one in the middle. What do you guys think? I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm playing around. You guys can't see my design down here. Kind of going for like maybe like this look. Is like the dark blue too much? Should I do um, just regular blue? I think that's too blue. Too blue. Okay, let's put them on there and see. Let's test. Testing. Okay, testing one, two, three. We are dry. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, so I think let's put them on. Let's see how they go. I think I want these to be like the middle. And like the outer, and then you have like the middle, middle. Ah, oh, it's so hard. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I think that maybe, maybe this brown one, maybe the brown one would look good on like the very tippity top. It actually kind of looks like a little cross, which is super cute. Oh, okay, can you guys see that from here? Don't know if you can. Don't work with solar flowers too much. Maybe we'll do like the blue in the middle. That one looks cute too. I really like the browns. Hmm, just go for it, right? You're like, just go for it. I think I like the brown in the middle like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. We'll have to see. It looks a little weird from your guys' angle. Let's push them to the side and let's secure these babies down. All right, I'm just using hot glue. So for you guys don't know, this is actually my first time working with these solar flowers. I thought they were so cool. I've always seen them, but I've never really done anything with them. Have you guys done things with the solar flowers before? I think they are super cute. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get in the middle pretty even to be able to do this one. Okay, I'm holding them down because we're working with hot glue. This one should be pretty good. Now, if you've worked with solo flowers before, do you use hot glue? Do you use something else? My mind went to hot glue. 
they seem to be very cute and popular to be able to work with. They're really easy if you've never used them before, so far at least, right? Okay, we're gonna do a big glob of hot glue up here. Get a little stringy, let's get him out of there. All right, so now this is kind of like attaching everything together. So we're gonna sand it up. Oh, this one got smashed a little bit, oh no. I think he looks still cute. Okay, we might have to doctor him up in a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Hi, I see all of your comments coming through. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay, let's see. I think he's pretty sad. I don't know. I kind of like the three. Maybe I'll just do one more. Maybe I'll just leave out this brown. I guess we'll have to save when it comes together. I don't want it to be so overpowering that it takes away from the design. Okay, let's see if we can stuff this guy right in between these two. Make him a little smaller. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, let's see. I'm like breaking this one. Oh no. Okay, we'll have to doctor this one. Maybe I'll just pull him out. Let's see. Okay. And this one too. Oh no. Okay, so let's see what this guy looked like. I think there was one more, but no, I can't find him. I think he's too big. He's, this one's too big. Let's see what he looks like if we tucked him right in the middle. No, I think I like it like this actually now, guys. Okay, I'm going to be very careful because it looks like it could still be wet. we got some strings going on from our hot glue. Are you guys ready to see it? And let me know what you guys think. Oh my goodness, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, what do you guys think? I think it turned out so cute. Let's get you kind of close to those flowers. It kind of has that off-white look. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys do too. It looks like you guys are liking it. Well, thank you guys. All right, guys, well, we have been on here on our Friday evening for just a little while. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and completing this beautiful project. You could turn any ordinary frame into something absolutely spectacular. I hope that you guys take this idea. If you do, let me know if you guys like it, how easy it was. And I hope to see you guys in a future video. I think I might be back with you next week at oh, when it Wednesday. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for starting it out with me on this live at five. Have a good evening.